everyone. It is December 6th and today we're going to be making this cute Christmas tree skirt. So this is so fun to make. I loved, loved, loved making it because it was so easy. It can definitely be done in one day, just a few hours if you have all the supplies all ready to go. Um, so what I used is the June Taylor Quilt As You Go Tree Skirt Kit and it makes everything just a breeze to put together. Uh, it comes with a template to cut out all of these sections, makes the cutting super quick and easy. So let's get started on it because it was so much fun. Okay, so let's work on this really adorable tree skirt. It is Quilt As You Go and it is from June Taylor. June Taylor. I will put a link in the description to where I purchased this package. So here's the fabric I plan to use. It's kind of very rustic looking. I'm going to open this up and see what we need to do. Okay, so what I am going to do is cut about an inch away from the outside of the pattern that I'm going to be using to place my fabric on. So I'm going to cut around about a half of an inch and then I'm going to spray baste the fabric that I'm going to be using for the back of this tree skirt. I'm going to spray base that onto the back of the batting and then I'll be stitching just inside the dash lines for the opening of the tree skirt, the outer border of the tree skirt, and the center circle of this tree skirt. So that's going to be kind of like a template for me to later cut this out after I'm finished doing the quilt as you go. So I'm going to get that ready and then I'm also going to press these fabrics decide where I would like them to be placed on the tree skirt and then you can see that it's all numbered so I can use this template to cut out the fabric and have the perfect size for placement here and then I'll put a little note on it of if the fabric's going to go at position two um, through 16, one through 16 really. So I need to cut out 16 pieces of fabric. Now the pattern very nicely gave the idea if you're using a non-directional fabric to, you know, you could um, kind of nest the template together. So have it cut out here and then flip to get the best um, use out of the fabric. So you're not doing them all this way, not getting, you know, just doing them haphazardly, whatever. So I am going to get my 16 pieces cut with the template, get the backing attached to this batting here, and sew around it so that it's nice and ready to go. Okay, so I have my batting and backing all prepped and you can see I sewed along the inside of that dashed line it talked about. And I want to point out here what I did, because it said sew inside of the dash line. So I just put the side of my presser foot right along the dash lines and kind of sewed a quarter inch around it so that it could try so I could try to keep everything as consistent as possible. Now this is that opening um, that you're going to use to put the skirt around your tree. So I sewed a quarter inch along each side of that so that I could cut that open later and then along the outer border as well. I just put my presser foot along the side and sewed along. Um, like, like I said, this is going to be our cut line so that we know where to cut later because once we put all of our fabric along here, it's going to be really hard to see all of these lines. Now, I use that template that I showed you 
and I cut all of my fabric. What I decided to do, because I thought about it for quite a bit, is I love this print the best from this line. It is so pretty. So this is going to be every other um, kind of segment. So you'll see I went ahead and numbered them all. I just uh, put a number on a piece of paper and pinned it to each one. So this is going to be all the basically all of the odd numbers. One, three, um, five, you know, all of the odd numbers on here. And then I used this um, like kind of rustic berry print. It has like some wood paneling in the background. This is going to be some of my even numbers along with the um, Christmas trees. So these two kind of alternate with each other in between the plaid. So what we're going to do is take number one and two, and here's how we kind of start the whole quilt as we go process. I'll put number one right where uh, the lines are kind of marking here, line it up and it will be face up as you can see. And then I'll put number two down on top of it, right sides together. And before I go to the sewing machine and sew, I'm going to take these pins out because I don't want to um, accidentally sew over them. And so they, these are right sides together. They're both on number one. And then I'll sew a quarter inch seam along here between the one and two marking. You wanna make sure you don't do it on the wrong side. You don't wanna do it next to 16. We're working on one and two. So that's where the side we're gonna sew the quarter inch seam on. After we sew that, we'll press this open. Now you can either take it over to your sewing machine uh, or your sewing machine, your pressing mat and press it, or you can finger press it. I starch these pretty good. So you press it out and then next, you would be putting your number three fabric on the number two fabric. And you'll just be working this way all the way around. So you'll put number three face down on number two. You'll sew your quarter inch seam, then press that one open. And then you'll lay number four on and keep working through the process. So it's a really fun way to get these, um, these kind of projects done kind of quickly because once you finish putting all these on, you get all the way over to 16. You could be done if you wanted to be. You could add more quilting if you want, but essentially you are done because you can look on the other side and you'll see all your quilting holding everything together. Um, I I'm, I'm, haven't decided if I'm gonna add a little bit more detailed quilting or not. I'll have to see how I feel about it when it's finished. Um, but essentially, like I said, it would be completed. Um, so I'm going to sit down at the sewing machine, get some of these done, hopefully finish it all up today. And then we'll take a look at how you finish this up. All right. So I have all of these segments sewn on. And now what I'm going to do is flip the tree skirt over and I'm going to cut around the thread on the outer portion of the circle, the thread on the inner portion of the circle, and then also the opening slit here, I'm gonna cut down through there. After I do that, all I'll need to do is sew the binding on.
And just like that, we have a finished Christmas tree skirt. I really, really love how it turned out. The Quilt As You Go kit made it a complete breeze to put together. So be sure to let me know in the comments what you thought. If you grabbed your kit and are planning on making one, I would love to know. Also let me know what fabrics you're using to put your tree skirt together. I loved how this turned out, especially with this plaid here, it was so cute. So be sure to check in tomorrow and see what we're making. I would love to have you tune in. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do that now by clicking the subscribe button below. I'll see you tomorrow, you guys, bye.